Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody sent me this photograph, and they actually sent me this is a scan. And then they sent me a, I asked for a photograph. And this is a difficult one. And I don't really know the best way to go about it. It doesn't trace real well because of the fact that it's uh, all these pieces of the gasket kind of like uh, garbage or frayed ends of the cork or whatever it's made out of. Uh, thick cardboard or whatever so I think the best way to do this would be to just trace it and I've already started on it and you can see and I'm gonna double click on whoop when you double click sometimes you erase a node and then you would get the handle so what we're gonna do to get that a little closer we're gonna double click right there and make a new node and then we can adjust this. Now, in my understanding and knowledge of gaskets, which isn't that big of a deal, but um, it doesn't really matter if it's perfect in the shape, as long as the holes are perfect. And he gave me a couple of dimensions that it's uh, 1.85 across, and the, this hole is only three quarters of an inch. And if you had the gasket in front of you and you could measure these holes, that would be a little bit official. And he's also got uh, his uh, corral is filling in. And you want the hole. So you just basically have to kind of play around with this. Now I'm going to go and I'm going to get off this. I'm going to change my nudge distance to 0 0.001. And I'm not going to do the whole thing, but you can see that that hole is pretty close, pretty close in the size. So I'm going to click on the hole and I'm going to just kind of nudge it over. Let's say it's a little bit too small, so we're going to hold down the shift key and go from the outside. And what it does, Corel makes it go from the inside and so it's the same, it's a perfect circle. So control D and make a duplicate. And put it there now if you go here and control D it's going to put the next hole way off your screen so go back to your original and control D and I think these holes are a little bit different in size but it's just those are bolt holes so I don't think it's that big a deal so I'm going to control D again control D again and you'll see it put it way down there now, the next holes are a little smaller, so let's put it near the hole. There must be some really small holes, must be some sort of pin. And I got it pretty close the first time. Control D and make a duplicate of it. Move it over here, get it close, and Control D for that one more hole. Then you would zoom in. And you'd want to test this on a piece of cardboard and match it up against your gasket. This, to me, isn't uh, technically uh, important to get all that exactly right. I mean, as long as the holes fit and, it, and the bolts don't mess up your gasket. So I've already drawn the top part of the gasket. We're going we're gonna to use the freehand tool. And I'm just going to kind of freehand this around. Well, I actually got the two-point line. Freehand tool and kind of started that node and just kind of trace it around. I think this is going to work out a lot better than trying to trace it uh, through Corel. Now, these are almost right angles. And just... Uh, like I got way off there, but that doesn't matter. And go back up and hit that one. Now take your shape tool. And you can see we've got some nodes about where they need to be. And we're going to move this over. And then we're going to move this handle. But I also am going to right click and turn that into a cusp. And then that way it doesn't change that other node. I'm going to delete this node. That looks pretty good. 
and for the video I'm not going to spend a lot of time because I never plan to cut this out so the person that's making this or if you're trying to make something like that um, you know it doesn't have to be perfect now these two should be a straight line so I'm going to select them both I'm going to right click I'm going to turn them into a line now you notice it messed up that a little bit so we're going to add an Turn this one to a cusp. Click on it. It's hard to see the, even the handles. And for the video, that's good enough. And then just do the same thing for the other side. You could actually have made a rectangle with rounded corners for this part. But let's get our... You know what? Let's use the three-point curve on this one. So go from there to there, and then three-point pre three point curve it. Grab your shape tool back and get this one kind of in line. Let's go back to the two-point line because we got some basically square shapes. And I'm clicking off the mouse, kind of setting a point. Now this one would be a good one to use the three-point curve on, and that one would be two. So let's grab the three-point curve again, and let's go from that node to that node, and then three-point curve it. Same thing on this one. Let's zoom in a little bit. Three-point curve, I've still got it. Let's just go from here to there. And you're going to have to add some nodes. Actually, we want to put this back and add a node kind of like right in the middle. I'm just double clicking the mouse. Matter of fact, I like the way that looks. I'm going to take away that node and just use my handles. And like I said earlier, like this is a straight corner. The gasket kind of has a round corner. I don't think it's going to matter. We are going to put it in the middle. Turn it into a curve. Bring it down a little bit. Let's add another node right there. Add another node right here. I'm just double clicking on the line. Now let's delete this node and see what happens. We got a curve. We need to bring that kind of uniform down. Now we've got all the holes. We've got all the everything. So let's take our image and let's change our nudge factor to five inches because we want to might get it back. Then take your, because we did this one first or I did this one first, take your virtual segment delete key and delete that part, delete that part, delete that line. And that looks pretty good. Now take a rectangle, put it around your object, see you've got white fill in. Take your smart fill tool and fill it in. And the reason I put the rectangle is so it would not leak if it leaked. And there's your gasket. That should work. I would test it out on cardboard. Uh, there's a number, number of things you could do, you know, comparing it. Uh, I could see it that... The right hand side isn't, this is almost straight up and down and this has a little bit more of a kilt. But all in all, for a gasket, this is gonna work. Now if you have your, if you have eight X or above, you can use the smoothing tool. Let's make it like a quarter of an inch, 0.25. Let's zoom in here. And let's make this a little bit better of a curve with the smoothing tool. Click on your line. And then just kind of smooth it around. Just takes a little bit of time. Uh, it's almost kind of fun, but I would test this uh, before you cut out your gasket material. And it should work. Now let's test our dimensions. He had 8.75 across these two points. And I've got 8.8, .8, which is rounded off to 8.75. So we're good to go. So as long as this hole right here 
is still three quarters of an inch. Let's use a parallel dimension tool. You need to kind of get in the middle of it and we're at three quarters of an inch. So for the one I'm doing this for, I will send you this file and hopefully you can clean it up a little bit better. I've got everything on the screen. I'm going to hit F4. That way I know that nothing else is on the screen. Hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.